Hello, my beautiful Leos. This is Debs, and this is your single soulmate reading from the 1st of July to the end of December 2023. Leo, it's great to be with you. Thank you so much for watching these readings, and I hope you're going to get something out of them. This is going to be a bit of a different spread than last year. I'm actually going to be doing this per month. If I have time, I will timestamp for you. If not, do forgive me, but they're very short readings anyway, so I'm sure you guys don't mind. You're welcome to timestamp the individual months if you'd like to, for those of you out there who fancy doing that. Just to let you know, there's somebody on Instagram who is uh, causing a few problems for my lovely subscribers because they're pretending they're me, okay? I don't have an Instagram account, so this is somebody just trying to get money from you guys. So please be careful and don't contact this person on Instagram, all right? If you want to, report them, block them, whatever you want to do. There's nothing I can do, but I'm just trying to protect you guys, okay? All right, so my beautiful Leos, let's see what this reading pertains to be for you. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the single soulmate reading for my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is the 1st of July through until the end of December 2023. What do we have for my beautiful Leos? Thank you, Michael. By the way, guys, on my playlist is the yearly overview. So for some of you, if you haven't watched those, then you might be interested in those too. All right, let's see where this goes, people. You can always skip the shuffling if you want to, but if I don't do it, people don't like it, okay? So I know it's a bit boring, but there we go. Okay, so July, August, September, October, November, and December. Okay, yep. All right. Moving into the Lighted Pathway, Lightworker Tower and Oracle. So what do we have, Michael, for the month of July for my Leos? Those two want to come out? Okay. And for August for my Leos? Okay. September, Michael, thank you. Okay, one flipped. October. Wow. November. Yeah. And December. Michael's saying one more. Okay, one more for Leo for December. All right, guys. So, beautiful Leos. If you're ready, let's begin. Let's have a look at July first. Let's have a look. So, in July, Leo, we've got the Eight of Wands, the Moon, and the Nine of Cups now. You could be hearing from an Aries Leo Sag, a Pisces or a Cancerian, but with the Eight of Wands, which I feel are passionate messages and the Moon and the Nine of Cups, it may be that what this person is hiding is that they actually want to be indulged. They may not be interested in any form of commitment. They may be simply looking for a good time. Now, Leo, if that's okay with you, go for it. But just be aware that what they're hiding is, I feel they just want your time, your, ten your attention, your energy, all right? They want to sit in your beautiful aura. So just be aware of that. Just be aware of that, okay? All right, guys, now together with those cards for the month of July, we have selfish and make the first move. So, Leo, if this is someone who is reaching out to you, but you feel that they simply want to be indulged, you may feel, oh, my goodness, they're just going to waste my time then just know that they are a bit self-orientated and you may make the first move, Leo, to say to this person, I'm sorry, but I'm busy. I just can't see you. I'm not interested. You may decide to do that, okay? 
If you guys are happy with a little bit of lighthearted fun and you're a bit on your own and you think, well, why not? Just enjoy it, but know that this is not going to lead to anything more than maybe a couple of weeks of some good memories. But just know that this isn't going to lead to anything serious. Okay, Leo? All right. Now, moving into August. Let's have a look. Okay, um, a few messages coming through for you, Leo, in the month of August. Now, I'm going to start off with the main one. Um... I feel given the energy that we had for you in July, it may well be that with the Ace of Swords, the truth as to why this person wants to come and see you is that they do have selfish motives. They may be coming to see you in order to bring a little gift. Hey Leo, how are you? It'd be nice to spend time with you. But actually, I think you're gonna put your guard up with the Seven of Wands. You may decide to push this person away. And I will tell you why. Because I feel that their real motive for moving towards you, and this could be somebody, Leo, who hurt you in the past, their real motive in patching up this connection with you is they may want your help in starting a business. Now, they may need just advice, which is, of course, fine but they may want your contacts, they may want your time, they may want to ask if you want to put money into this, to invest in this. So just be careful, okay? So if this is someone that you knew before, you may be surprised that they move towards you lots of messages to say, I've got feelings for you, Leo, and you may sit in the Nine of Cups thinking, wow, this is amazing, but just know that they've got ulterior motives. What they really want to do is to pick your brains or to even ask you for maybe a loan or a bit of a helping hand in them starting their own business, okay? Now, the second message, it could be that the truth is, is that if this person moves towards you, the only thing that they can really offer you is a friends with benefits situation and this is you putting your guard up. It could be you, nothing to do with love at all, concentrating on healing yourself from maybe realising this person was a bit selfish in July, you know, coping with a little bit of disappointment, but this could be you pushing messages away from this person or other people because you, Leo, are getting serious with your career. You could be starting a business. Okay. Let's jump into September. Let's see what's going on. Okay, Leo, big month romantically. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Star card and the Sun. Now the Sun is you, Leo. So I think you could have a younger Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn or an Aquarius who is moving towards you wanting to maybe mend a bridge with you because you make them very happy, simply that, with the sun. They could be traveling to see you. They could be wanting to reunite with you. You may feel, Leo, that if this is a long time coming, this will be a dream come true. So it could be September is an exciting month for you in terms of romance. All right, now, the other cards, a little bit of a red flag, but nothing major. This person is incredibly attracted to you, Leo. I would just get more information and be sure that this person is really ready for a relationship, Knight of Pentacles. They're not just attracted to you and they're sort of mixing up passion and attraction with love. Just make sure you're both on the same page, okay? But I think this has a chance of moving into some kind of relationship, which is beautiful, Leo. September time. Okay, now, October. Okay, guys, October now. We've got the Ten of Cups. I'm holding these up individually because I want you to concentrate on each card. Ten of Cups. So, Leo, you are going to move into what you hope to be a beautiful Ten of Cups relationship. Now, we then have the Knight of Wands and the Six of Swords. If this person previously, Leo, was sat in the Knight of Wands, they're wanting to move to calmer waters with you and put effort into this connection. So for some of you, 
This could be you building the Ten of Cups with someone that you perceive to be maybe sitting in a little bit of flighty energy before. And this could work out. For others of you, you may believe that this person moved towards you offering a relationship, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, only to realise that with the Knight of Wands, this person was just very attracted to you. And you may find that they don't intend on being loyal with the Knight of Wands. So with the Six of Swords, Leo, for some of you, you may well put this person in the friend zone or detach from them altogether and concentrate on you. You could be moving away from this person in October because what we've got is focused on work and money. They could be more into the attraction between the two of you. And if you are stable, Leo, financially, they may want help with starting a business. OK, they could be focused on your money, your stability, and they could be thinking, oh, well, I find Leo very attractive as well. Maybe I could kill two birds with one stone. But Knight of Wands, I'm a bit nervous. Passion and attraction, you know. So, Leo, you may realise that you were blinded by this person. You could have been a bit swept off your feet. And I think, Leo, you're going to sit down with this person and say, look, I think we need to have a serious conversation because I believe we're on two different pages. What the advice from the divine is, Leo, for you is focus on your own goals. You may be so busy in trying to help this person build a business, giving them a loan, enjoying this, thinking it's going to move forward into a relationship, that you may be blinded to the truth, that actually they need help in starting to build a business. They need your advice, your contacts, your time, your finances. And what they're saying is this person's a bit selfish. Focus on your own goals, okay? Don't be swept up in some kind of illusion. So just be aware, okay? We're dipping into November. Okay, guys, now we've got the Judgment card, the Hierophant, and the Three of Pentacles. Now, it could well be that for some of you, you've got someone, and it could be someone that you knew in the past, who's trying to make a decision about a marriage. And they may want to work in partnership with you in order to bring you on board and ask you to wait until they've made a firm decision as to whether or not they can get out of a karmic relationship. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Taurus, but this is someone who wants you to work with them. Maybe they want to talk to you about moving into a relationship if they became legally separated. They may want to talk to you about waiting for them if they do decide to divorce. But this is someone who seems to want to pull you into their life, but they are at this present time, and this is November, in a long-term situation with someone else. So it's totally your decision, Leo. It could be somebody you knew in the past. It could be somebody brand new. But this is someone who was trying to make a decision to end a karmic relationship. They don't know exactly what they plan on doing at this point, but they want to build a foundation with you with the view that they hope to get out of this connection, I think, in the future. But you may not be sure. So... I think this is somebody from the past reconciling with your ex and relocation. Now, they could be saying to you, if you do want to work on a relationship with me, I will end my relationship with my karmic and possibly relocate to live nearer you. So this is actually going to work. So you could have been in a situation with somebody in the past, Leo, who lived at a distance, who was married to somebody else. You forgot all about this person or you pushed them away before because you were disappointed. They're coming back in. OK. They want to reconcile and they're thinking very seriously about moving to your area. But just be aware, just be aware that they may not fully get out of their long term situation. OK, we've got a three here. They may want to develop a relationship with you with the view that they would then say to you after six months of you two dating, oh, I just can't get out of this relationship. I hope it's okay with you. I'm going to stay legally separated, but I'm hoping since we spent a few months together that you're going to agree to that. You may not. This person may be strategic. 
okay? Oh, my goodness, Leo. Right, let's move into December. Oh, Leo, this person doesn't want to let you go. Okay, same story. Okay. Here we have you, two of wands, waiting for this person to get out of their situation. The reason why you're waiting, looking out across that vista, is that this is indeed somebody who lives in another area. So they're telling you they're going to relocate to be with you. You're getting super excited with the Three of Cups. And with the Eight of Pentacles, they're telling you that they're going to work on their finances in order to get out of the connection they're in. But they don't seem to be making a lot of progress, Leo. You're still waiting, hoping to reconcile with this person hoping that this is going to work out. It may not. It may be a ruse, Leo, because this person simply doesn't want to lose you. Because what this person is saying is, yeah, I am committed elsewhere, um, but they're going to say to you, stay positive, Leo, because I'm probably going to be able to get out of this. They want you to work through your differences. Now, mm, Leo, what I think that really means is this person wants you to accept them as someone who is staying in a long-term situation. They've got the issue, Leo, not you. But what they're saying to you rather selfishly is, oh, well, if we work together, I'm sure we could work something out. We can work through our differences. Well, you don't have any issues, Leo. You're not posing any problems. They are because they're the ones in a relationship. So I think the advice from the divine is, Leo, cut your losses. This person is not on your path. OK, you are not supposed to be with this person. I'm just feeling this is someone who's got ulterior motives. They see themselves building a beautiful future with you. You could be very stable, Leo. You could be sat in the star energy, the sun energy. This is someone who feels that they would have a great life with you. The problem is they're involved with somebody else. They're involved with somebody else, okay? So even though they want to reconcile with you, sending you passionate messages, I want to heal the situation with you, what you're realizing is, wow, they felt that I would be a good partner to build a business with or I could help them financially build a business. They're very attracted to me, but ultimately they are going to end up staying in a situation with somebody else and hope that you will agree to accept that. I don't think you will, Leo. I don't think you will. So, Leo, let's see what comes through in the psychic tarot. We could have new love coming in for you. Here we go, people. Let's find out what comes through for you. What have we got from the Psychic Tarot? Three? Okay. Yeah, we want three. Let's have a look, Leo. All right, guys, it's a bit challenging. I wish I could change these cards, but this is what we have. Now, we've got Triumph. This is somebody who is moving very, very quickly towards you, wanting success. Okay? They're on a mission. They've got drive, and they are going for it with you. This is someone who doesn't want you to say no, okay? Now, I think that's the chariot card, in which case you could be connected to a Cancerian because I think we saw the energy of the moon. Yeah, the moon, okay. So you could be having talks with, um, with a Cancerian. We do have patience. Now, patience is Sagittarian energy. They're asking you to be patient with them whilst they decide if they can end their karmic connection. But I have to say, Leo, it could end in tears if you agree to this because the final card is emotional loss, all right? So you could realise that actually what they wanted was your help, your stability, your beautiful energy, and this is someone who wanted you to accept that they were not going to be able to get out of another relationship. But the divine is saying this person's not on your path, okay? Let's get some messages, Leo, from Archangel Michael. What do we have, Archangel Michael, for my beautiful Leo? This is a difficult reading, guys. I may dip into the deck just to see if anyone new is coming in. Because this has been a challenging reading for you guys. Believe and trust. Before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage and confidence. Now that is your energy of Leo, strength, courage and confidence, right? So be strong through this. 
believe and trust in the divine leo okay yeah wow detach from the situation leo archangel michael i ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama so i may be centered in the knowingness that peace is everywhere within me and this situation so leo if you believe that this person is simply going to bring drama into your life in whatever way that is and you're going to be sitting in a place of fear what the divine is saying is just detach it's not worth it okay now i don't usually do this but let's see if the tarot is going to bring us anything in terms of new love for you just just a couple of next just a couple of extra minutes I'm just going to see if new love is coming in. Let's just quickly see if you've got new love coming in. Because I think this is an ex coming back and mm, I don't think you're going to go for it. I don't think you're going to go for it. Ace of Wands. You could have a passionate new start with somebody else. Okay. All right. Okay. Knight of Swords. Why do I feel this is the same story? Ace of Wands, Knight of Swords. You really want passion with me. There could be an argument. King of Pentacles. Someone is staying in a commitment. Chariot, Cancerian energy. And you may move on. All right. Anything else for my Leos? Do we have new love coming in for my Leos, Michael? The High Priestess. Use your intuition, Leo. For some of you, you may be connecting in the future with a Pisces. Nine of Swords. Don't stress about the future. Not worth it. Okay. Wow. Nine of Pentacles. I don't know why the Nine of Swords is there, Leo, but I think you're going to end up meeting someone new. Who could be a Pisces? Six of Pentacles, King of Cups. Yeah, so Leo, it could well be that you end up with a King of Cups, a Pisces Cancer Scorpio, who was willing to put in the work and effort. Six of Pentacles could be somebody who was divorcing or divorced. Okay. Yeah. Now, Leo, if you're a masculine, you could be avoiding a feminine and you could be offering love to a high priestess, okay? Take it as it resonates. But I do feel that you've got love coming in, but maybe, Leo, this is a heads up from the divine, not in the next six months. You've got an ex coming back who's simply a bit selfish, all right? They're not on your path. Use your intuition. And I think in 2024, in the first few months, you're going to have this King of Cups show up. All right, guys, I am leaving it there. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, Leo.